Okay, I wanted to debunk this thread from Charlie Rawhead and Bloody Bone Strauss. This person that uh, Sophie from Political Debate claims is an expert uh, on computer technology, which, you know, reading their, uh, reading their profile, pretty funny. It's, uh, you know, clearly this left-wing activist. So he creates this thread, and this thread uh, is... The Hunter Biden laptop story is fucked. Documents show the laptop was dropped on April 12, 2019. They show an external uh, drive and its serial number. Western Digital's website says the drive's three-year warranty expires 2022, which means it was manufactured April 18, 2019. So uh, let's click this warranty. Uh, this does not actually say three-year warranty in this image. And I can actually show you that that's actually bullshit. Uh, Western Digital, I, I'm fully aware of this, uh, every one of their black drives you'll find five-year warranty. Their blue ones are typically three. There's a couple older ones that are two. Red ones are kind of varied. But if we find any Western Digital black, five-year. Western Digital black, five-year. Uh, th this one right here says five-year there, but then not a... What's this one on the right... Oh, retail. Okay, I guess that one doesn't retail. Uh, the Raptors are also black. Again, five years. Blacks, five years. External drives, which this was, five years for my passport. So, like, every black drive is a five-year warranty. So, them claiming this says three-year warranty when this thing right here says it's a black drive, that's bullshit. Uh, we can see that it would have been purchased 2017, not 2022. Now, also, even if this was a three-year warranty, that's actually irrelevant because from what you see here, the Western Digital hard drive was not actually the laptop. What the person did is they cloned the laptop hard drive onto an external hard drive. So it would have actually been possible for the guy's story to be true and him have purchased the hard drive after he actually received the laptop. However, it's a it, it's a Western Digital Black. All the blacks are five-year warranty. I showed you them claiming three-year warranty. Their picture doesn't say three years. It just says expiration date, and they're alleging that it was purchased three years before that based on that. This person obviously is not familiar with Western Digital's uh, warranty program, which... If you just Googled Western Digital Warranty Policy, this came up. Uh, hold on. Is it actually different in Europe? Let's see. Are the Western Digital Blacks... I'm pretty sure he bought them in America, but yeah, even in even in Europe, all the Western Digital Blacks, they're, they're all five-year for Blacks. Blacks, 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 all five-year, five-year, five-year. Yeah, so every Western Digital Black, five-year warranty. Western Digital Blues, those can be three. This says black here based on that. I didn't actually check to see if that model number was accurate they posted here, but I'll, I'll assume that that's true because like the like it doesn't say three in that thing. It just says when it expired. But yeah, so the person's wrong on both counts there that that's a five-year drive. So 2017. And also a third point. Uh, your warranty is not based on manufacture date. It's based on purchasing date. You wouldn't want a two-year warranty on an item that's been sitting on a shelf in Best Buy if you bought a Western Digital Blue or Green. And it's like, hey, this one sat on the shelf for two years. You buy it, the warranty's expired. Nobody would like that. The warranty is based on when you buy it, not manufactured. But that, that's a nitpick. So, one, I proved that it's not... A three-year warranty and two even if it was a three-year warranty it would be irrelevant so let, let's go down to the, uh, the the next step uh, he's talking about um, uh, like the, the external drive was claimed to be used to recover but there's no recovery of a solid-state disk such as the one found in Hunter's alleged mess the data is corrupted no like if your laptop's broken but the hard drives fine like look this person right here says any legit data recovery firm will tell you recovery of a damage related file from NVMe drive is impossible. Well, first of all, we don't even know the drive was damaged. Second of all, that's not. And he says right here, if the internal solid state drive was working, but the computer would 
was not, it would take specialized equipment and skill to remove it. So skill to remove it. All right, uh, I took this serial number right here from the Apple laptop. So he was using one of these two laptops, either the 13 inch, uh, like i7 or the 13 inch with an i5. They have the same uh, serial numbers uh, range for both of them. The model number would be 1708. Uh, so here's the SSD that these use. Now, this is not a normal SSD. It is this Apple form factor. Now, here's the thing about that. That form factor is just a form factor. It's still a basic N.2. In fact, you can actually buy for $12.99 here this adapter where you can fit a normal M.2 drive into this and it'll convert it there. They also make these devices that convert it backwards the other way around, but I, I don't think anybody cares about that right now. We're, we're not talking about, you, you know, which device you need, but so let's, uh, look, where, where they say that you would need a special tool to remove it, uh, so what special tool would you have to remove it? It plugs in right here. The only special tools you'd have to remove it is there's a screw here, if you can see my mouse, and here. If you have a Phillips head screwdriver, you have the tools to remove this hard drive. In fact, you don't even have to use a Phillips head. Like, you, you could take one of these flat heads poke it in there and you can still unscrew it even with a flat head like you don't even need a, you don't even need the phillips head you, that it requires or normally would require like you don't actually even need that but these specialty tools and skills any anybody who's ever repaired a laptop like you know like yeah like you know these these yeah it, it is true some of them do solder on but these ones here those ones are not soldered on you don't need any special tools like that, that, that's pretty easy to remove. This person's installing a 970 Evo. Uh, he, he bought one of those cheap adapters on eBay or Amazon, and then he's plugging it into that same spot. You screw it in. Because, like, yeah, you, you can use regular drives in the Mac. You just have to buy the converter. And th there's readers for the other way to go around, back and forth. So th this person's claiming that you would have had to you know, uh, they, they said it was cloned onto a My Passport Pro, which, like, I, I even showed you the My Passport Pro is actually five-year warranty for the Western Digital Black. But this is claiming weeks after he got the computer, which also, uh, even if he did, like, that, that's still fine. But this person, they say it's not a drive, it's a bunch of memory chips soldered onto a circuit board. Um, semi-true. So... Here's uh, like here's what an SSD looks like. That, that that's like a small form factor one. Uh, let's see if I can get one with. All right, here here's a good picture. So yes, NVMEs are a bunch of memory chips soldered on to a circuit board. However, the circuit board has an M.2 slot. Now, you know, what, let's say you didn't even have like a, a device to like. Uh, read NVMe drives. If you've got like a modern motherboard, like, oh crap, they've got a thing over it. Uh, so right here, one, two, three NVMe slots on this motherboard. Like most modern motherboards have M.2 slots. You can plug in an M.2 to a computer and Granted, uh, if you had that Apple one, the form factor would restrict it, so you'd probably have to buy an M.2 adapter to plug it into one of those, but that's not really a big deal. But when the person says, like, you know, NVMEs or these advanced circuit boards, like, technically, yes, but they're in a form factor that lots of devices use. And th th this person's also talking about uh, the drive wasn't Hunter's, so they had to buy it. The two terabyte mat like is eighty dollars, more likely when it came out. Yeah, Hunter only paid seventy five dollar for the repair. Um, I, 
I, I don't know uh, what it says right here, uh, if that was the only uh, fee or what the person was doing it for. Like, the, the person probably wasn't going to give him the, the, the Western Digital Drive. What I think the person was doing was going to back up the files to Hunter's iCloud account that he wanted off there. And then he was going to keep the My Passport drive. Like, he just bought the My... Or, he had the My Passport drive and gave it to the FBI. But that doesn't mean he was going to give that My Passport drive to Hunter. So, th them right here claiming that this person is doing this, like... It's, uh... It, like, yeah, that's kind of bullshit. They're also saying that, uh... That the, the MacBook was allegedly, uh, water damaged, uh... Water damage can be a lot of issues. Also, right here, when they say because of water damage, it's likely the drive can't be accessed or it won't boot. Um, again, SSDs, they're actually pretty resilient. Like, they're not, like, they don't have moving parts or anything, so they're not going to be broken by, like, shaking. They're also pretty good about, you know, if, if water got into your computer, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty, pretty good about, like, you know, if, if the motherboard shot something and broke stuff, the, the most likely thing you'd actually have to break would be either some random part on the, the logic board or the CPU. Like, those are usually the two things that would break from water onto your laptop. The, the actual risk of, like, having, uh, like, your, your tertiary components, pretty low. Even things like a graphics card, unless the water was on the graphics card, that's not usually going to be the one that gets affected. And the SSDs are fully enclosed. Uh, like, it, it, the water's not going to get to where the SSD is if the person got a little bit of water on it. The keyboard's probably, like, the keyboard or screen is what I would suspect would have been broken. But, again, speculation. We'd have to know where the water got in it. If he dropped it in a pool or if it just got wet. Like, we, we don't know. Like, this is just claiming a, claiming a few things here. So... Like, all these, like, conspiracies about this person, they... Like, they also say, it's possible the laptop is old enough to have a removal NVMe drive, which would make it possible to transport into an older MacBook Pro. I don't think the drive was corrupted at all in any case. So the person even, like, admits right here that it would have been possible for that. Oh, also, uh... Apparently, they say now that Western Digital claims May 2022 is expiration date. But again, it's not three-year warranties. It, it, it's five. But also, even if it was three, it would be irrelevant to the point. Uh, ah, this person actually did uh, mention uh, that the non-touch bar uh, models uh, don't have the solder things. This person actually did uh, mention these things. Apparently they're claiming that an unregistered device begins at the day of manufacture unless you register it. That could be true. I'm not 100% on that. That, that. that actually does sound plausible, but again, that was actually a five-year drive. He already had that My Passport drive when he got the laptop. And again, that was a cloned of the drive that wasn't Hunter Biden's external hard drive. Hunter Biden didn't bring an external hard drive to this guy. So, like, a, a, a person did actually acknowledge a few flaws there. But, again, like, th this whole thing is bullshit. And Charlie Rawhead and Bloody Bones, it, he's clearly retarded.